Hi, and welcome to Virtual Ants. In today's video, we'll be creating another desert terrarium for my colony of ghost ants. They're known for escaping every setup they are given, so I put myself to the test, and will this jar terrarium stop them from escaping by helping them grow to a massive colony? Also, if you want to go check out the first terrarium, then press on the top right corner. First, you'll need your jar or container or whatever you're going to use for making the terrarium. Then, you'll need your substrate or dirt. I am only using sand as the last time I made a terrarium with dirt and red sand, which looked quite bland as the sand was so bright and the dirt was so dark. Then, for your decorations, I'll be using only cactuses and rocks. A very simple terrarium for today's video. Now that you have your design, you want to wet the sand so that the ants can dig into it and your cactuses to flourish up, though they don't really need any water as they just collect the condensation out of the air in the mornings. Now just leave the water to soak into the sand so that when you put your ants in they won't drown. Ok now that the water has sunken down into the sand, you can now get whatever ant you are planning to move in and try to get them in as gently as you can to prevent them from getting damaged and to help the queen stay laying. Thanks for watching my vid, I hope this helped you create your own desert of terrain. And before you go, I want to give a huge shout out to Ant India, who makes great content and is uploading constantly with super informative videos. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check him out. But for now, Virgil Ants, signing out. Yeah.